What is happening y'all, it's your boy Lamore here, welcome back to another video and today we are going to be talking about should Roman Reigns, the big dog, quote unquote, take the championship, the United States championship off of the Bulgarian brute Rusev at SummerSlam. Disclaimer, I am not, 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 not a Roman Reigns fan, not at all, like not even in the, he's okay, he's a decent wrestler, he's, he's, he, I'm not gonna say he can't wrestle because his matches with AJ Styles, which is my personal favorite wrestler of all time, well, of the modern day, were nice. Honestly, they were really nice. And the shoot triple threat was really nice as well. So I'm not gonna sit here and say he can't wrestle. He's just not one of my favorite characters on WWE. I've seen better, honestly. So, okay. But should he take the championship off of Rusev? Yes. He, he should honestly because this would be a perfect way for the WWE to repackage Roman Reigns and help us as fans like his character because as you guys saw I'm, I'm sure all of you guys know this at Wrestlemania 32 which was supposedly the biggest Wrestlemania of all time with the most amount of people which I bet is a lot because WWE was live before plenty of time about that type of stuff um, he beat Triple H for the WWE whatever championship and there wasn't a lot of cheers within the stadium like as soon as he came out if you guys go back and watch his entrance for the main event at Wrestlemania 32 it was either silent or he got a whole bunch of booze like seriously like I get WWE trying because I think this is I get WWE trying to make his character appeal more to the women but you can't have a world champion where your main fan base are males. Like, I'm not saying don't have a character that is only appealing to males, but have a character, like, example, John Cena. Like, me, I, I like John Cena. Like, I respect his character because he's, John Cena's good on the microphone and he's good in the ring. Like, he's good in the ring because, because besides the whole C Nation crap, that's kind of corny, but John Cena is a, I like his character. I really, really do like his character. So I think, I, because they're trying to make Roman Reigns another John Cena. Like, that's quite obvious. Like, seriously, because he has already won the Royal Rumble. He's had the championship on what? Two or three different occasions? Two? I don't remember. Two, two or three different occasions. He's had the tag team championship, but he, he, he hasn't really bonded with the fans like John Cena has done like he hasn't really risen into superstardom like John Cena has done so I think that in a way they could they can almost follow in his cousin's footsteps like in the for a way to, for them to repackage Roman Reigns I, like, I don't think they should turning him heel would be a good idea but at this point I don't think WWE is going to do that because Rusev is already a heel so how are you going to turn a heel versus a heel that rivalry just doesn't make any sense there's no dynamic in that so I think what they should do is I think they should just repackage him completely like have him win the championship have him win the championship at SummerSlam but repackage his character so he's more of a like more of a not a, a complete arrogant character make him more arrogant you know make him more like make him more self-centered like don't make him a heel yet like kind of progress into that like the more and more people he beats for the United States Championship like like I think here's what they do they should have him beat Rusev and then the next night have him brag about how he beat Rusev how he beat the Monster Rufus how he beat the Bulgarian Brewer how John Cena was the only one who was able to do it now he's able to do it. you know like make him make him arrogant make his character arrogant like I think doing that it change it first of all another thing change his attire please and change his entrance, his theme music, give Roman Reigns a, a reason, a, give us a reason why we should like or dislike Roman Reigns. Because the reason why we dislike him is kind of, well it's not kind, it is unfair to him because he hasn't really done much. It's all, the, it's all backstage politics the reason why we don't like Roman Reigns. Because he's been forced to the main event so many times is the reason why we don't like him. Same thing with John Cena, but see, John Cena has John Cena is able to turn a crowd on his head because he's good 
on the microphone and he's good in the ring. Roman Reigns is not the best at doing either one. So I think, first of all, they should repackage his character, you know, make him change his attitude. He doesn't be arrogant, just change his attitude, you know. Get rid of that whole big dog, one versus all Roman Empire bullcrap. Like, that's corny. Now, I get that he won't be in the main event scene for a while because WWE give, did give him the keys to the castle and he messed it up with his, with his wellness policy by going against the wellness policy. So, I know that WWE will not put him in the main event, which they should not, but if they do, I will get mad, honestly. They should not put him in the main event for a good time. So, I think that building up to him going into the main event again, they should repackage his character, you know. Explain, get, give more character development into Roman Reigns. Explain who Roman Reigns is, because when you really look at it, when you look at the grand scale of it, Roman Reigns, he's the only member of the SHIELD to not have a good amount of character development. Like, honestly, because you see Dean Ambrose, he became the Lunatic Fringe, and um, Seth Rollins became the Architect. And then he got hurt, and then he came back, and now he's like redesigned, with redesigned, rebuild, reclaim, I think that's how it is. Now he has a new gimmick. Dean Ambrose is still a lunatic fringe, which I'm not gonna lie, he needs some more character development as well, but Roman Reigns is just stuck in the middle. Like, he's the only one who hasn't had much to any character development at all. So I think for him to win the United States Championship, would it be a perfect way for WWE to take his character and reestablish him so he can either become a really, really, really strong babyface or a heel that nobody likes? Like, for a valued reason, for his character's reason, not for backstage politics reason, like... And don't do the whole tweener thing like you guys, like, WWE, please don't do that. Like, I hope WWE does not do the whole tweener thing again, where it was, what was it, it was like... It was kind of before the SHIELD triple threat, before he got injured, well, not injured, before he got suspended. Well, they, they kind of made him a tweener. You, you didn't really know if he was a heel, or you really didn't know if he was a face. Because he did tell the crowd to shut up. He told the males in the crowd to shut up. So, I'm guessing he was a heelish face? I don't know, but it, it was kind of like, he was kind of a tweener. So, it was kind of difficult to tell which he was. Don't do that. I hope WWE does not do that again. Because that was very confusing for me, first of all. Because I was like, okay. They're going to be trying to make him a next John Cena. So, is he is still a face? Is he an aggressive face? Or is he a heel? I, like, I, like, I don't know. Like, I, w I wouldn't even mind if they made him a character like, like The Rock, you know? Because The Rock is not a face. The Rock is not a heel. The Rock is a tweener that everybody likes. Like, because The Rock is one good on the microphone. And he's good in the ring. Like, granted, The Rock's special moves and and uh, finishers are kind of, yeah. But he's still The Rock. Everybody likes The Rock. Like, or The Rock has, is one of my favorite superstars of all time, to be honest. Between him, Edge, CM Punk, and Randy Orton, those are one of my, some of my favorite wrestlers. Well, and of course, AJ Styles and Seth Rollins. Those are some of my favorite wrestlers of all time. So. I think that they should make him follow kind of his cousin's footsteps, but not don't make it exact. Like just cha make it changeable for his character. But should Rusev take the championship back off of Roman Reigns? No, he should not. They should also take it time to reestablish Rusev's character as well. Like give him that monster aura back. Like that was taken from him when he joined the League of Nations. Like honestly. League of Nations was a joke, first of all. The League of Nations was a complete joke. And Rusev being part of it didn't really help his character either. So I think that him not having the United States Championship on him would help as well. So, to sum everything up, Roman Reigns should win the championship at SummerSlam. Because it would be a perfect way for WWE to reestablish his character. And I think this would give, as well, Rusev some time to reevaluate and reestablish his monster aura as a heel as well. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up, a like, and don't forget to subscribe and always come back for more. Here's your winner and the new United States Champion, Roman Reigns!
Roman Reigns wins here in impressive fashion. The new champion! No surprise there. That was exactly what we expected when the match was announced for SummerSlam. What an incredible effort.